architects are creating houses now with bigger apertures going into those gardens. If you look at a historic context, a garden was there to frame a house and support a house and it was a, a detached thing that happened around the architecture. We're much more now, we're constantly asked by the architects to integrate more. Lig House, it, it's fairly refined. It's, it's got a minimalist approach to its uh, materiality. I guess in the landscape, we, we took projections of the architecture that get carried out into the garden. It is a green on green garden and an overtly green. We made sure that, you know, it's this idea of a jewel box and this house sits in the middle of that. It has loads of texture. We go from, in the shady gardens, large leaves of things like tractor seed plant, Ligularia reniformis, down to these very fine leaves of Japanese box. Each garden you look at, you see texture, but ultimately it's, it's fairly subdued. I guess as a design business, you, you are influenced by the arts, full stop. It just, that's the way it works. The influences that you might have picked up as a young designer and thinking of people like placing glass for Dal Chihuly or even going down to Sydney Circular Quay and seeing my first vision of Jeff Kern's giant puppy. You know, things like that have always kind of influenced me. Working with a client who is an avid art collector, we had the great opportunity to provide moments within the landscape. The idea of creating a sculpture garden is a beautiful thing to do. And then how we could pocket and position other artworks throughout the landscape was wonderful. I was really surprised to see a, a wire red giraffe being lowered into this courtyard. The red is very, very vibrant. It really has this fabulous kind of colour pop. The walls are a mute tone and this giraffe kind of sits amongst the foliage. It's fabulous stuff. Part of the reason of why I do what I do, you work with these wonderful creative people. You can create a garden out of a packet of seeds. You can create a garden out of craning in a tree. It's something that we can all do. There's varying levels of passion around it.